very, very important that a police brief be short and simple because I may not have, as a policymaker, I may not have as much time to read through a lot of text. And especially if a police brief has a lot of medical jargon, because obviously, as I am now, I'm a, a medical practitioner, so I understand medical language. But if I was a policymaker that is really not a medical practitioner, and there's a lot of medical jargon in the police brief, it would be very difficult for me to understand it, and therefore <clears throat> now not be able to utilize it. I think as a, a stakeholder or as a decision maker in this particular case, when we look at um, you know policy writing or development or policy briefs, there are certain things that are, I, I'm interested in, in particular. What I look for in a policy brief are clarity, brevity, scientific reasoning, and logic as to why the proposed measure would work. I think for me, that's extremely important. I think the analysts will need to convince me clearly in the policy brief that the proposed policy would work. And in terms of presenting the policy brief, I think I, prefer, I, I would like to see a lot of graphics because they help me visualize not just the problem and also the solutions. I think graphics that are well articulated and well displayed help a lot for me as a policymaker to see where is the problem, how are the proposed options actually going to solve that problem? So the way a brief is presented matters a lot to me. In the department, we have a format which, mandate, which is mandated for us to use. So structurally, we have the guidance. But for content, I look for the following Cs. Clarity, conciseness, completeness, concreteness, consistency, coherence, and courtesy. Overall, when I look at a policy brief, I just look at the overall impact and what a decision maker will react, how a decision maker will react to it. About the policy writing, shorter the, the better. You know, we don't have time to go through pages and pages, so it has to be short, but you know, the justification part must be strong so I can use it to, you know, for to carry out um, discussions with other policymakers, with the, the politicians, so for advocacy also, I need a, a good justification. So that must be there and also various options from which we can decide, you know, when we go for our uh, strategic plans and for action plans, we need to identify the priorities and take the priority areas. So priority areas with the, with the cost must be there. So those are the main things I'm concerned, you know, a good justification and then objectives and those things, and then you know, prioritized actions or, or strategies with their cost. If they are there, actually we can use that policy to move forward. For me, way, I always look forward to a persuasive policy brief. And a persuasive policy brief to me should be focused. It should be professional and not academic with the no jargons attached. It should be evidence-based. It should be succinct and to the point, it should be clear and understandable and should be practical and feasible. That is for me what I look forward to in a persuasive policy brief. 